Hi everybody, how y'all doing? This is Dorothy McKinley and welcome to my shop, The Blank Spot. So today what I'm doing is I am going to show you how to sublimate a face mask. Um, so I have this image that I've already created. Uh, I've already printed on my Epson printer that I, uh, I've already converted. Okay, so this image that I have is uh, one of my clients. They're going to uh, California and they wanted a image um, on a shirt and on a face mask. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you get the moisture out of your face mask. So basically what I do is I take it, I put it on some butcher paper and I already have my heat press heating up. Okay, so I'm going to sublimate these for uh, the temperature is going to be 400 degrees for 60 seconds. But before I do anything, I want to get the moisture out. So um, I'm just going to take and just press it down for maybe about 10 seconds to get the moisture out. Okay. All right. Once I do that, I bring it back over here. I want to get my image. Okay. And that what I do is I always make sure that I make my image a little bit bigger than what the face mask is. Um, it just depends on your design and how you want to get it um, sublimated on the mask. Okay. So I take my image and I'm lining it up on the face mask. Okay. You just want to make sure that you get all, if you're going to do uh, the white mask like this and you're trying to sublimate the entire thing, you want to make sure that you get everything covered okay so i'm just checking it out and then i take my heat tape and this heat tape right here is um about three quarters of an inch you can get that um actually we're going to be having some heat tape in stock pretty soon uh, we also have in stock um the mask that i'm doing right here okay so I'm just basically kind of um, taping it on there, making sure that the image is right side up, which I need to make sure that I have the other one because if not, it's gonna be a little backwards. Okay. All right, so, and I'm just gonna use um, a, tape on, a piece of tape on each side because I think it should be good to go. And once again, this is about a three quarters of an inch um, heat tape. We'll be having some heat tape in stock and we already have the mask um, in stock. Okay. So once I get that together, I want to make sure that my heat press is set at 400 for 60, 60, 60 seconds. Okay. And you always want to make sure that you cover whatever you're sublimating because the ink can bleed through and you don't want to, you want to get your ink on your um, heat press. All right. So here we go, putting it on the heat press. And you always want to make sure that you have adequate um, amount of um, pressure as well. Okay, so here we go. Um, 60 seconds has passed and we are now ready to see how our masks have sublimated. All right. So as you can see, you have a little bleed on the paper and that's why you always want to make sure that you put a cover on the top because you don't want that bleed to go on your heat press. All right, so here we go. Look at there. All right. So how about that? Isn't that nice and vibrant and pretty? All right. So guys, once again, my name is Dorothy McKinley. Um, this is the blank spot and I have shown you how to create a sublimated uh, mask. Uh, we do have these masks in stock and also um, just check us out and make sure that you like us on all social media handles. Thank you.